Well, 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 what is up? What is up, everyone? So I wanted to do uh, the old hack of making a telephone handset mic. See, lovely red telephone. Eight bucks, kind of expensive for a thing that people don't really use anymore. Number on it, Bell, that's a Canadian telecom. 613 area code, that's Ottawa. Makes sense, I got this in Ottawa. Flip it over. You can see this is pretty, this is, this is pretty decent actually. You got a nice Phillips heads property of Bell. Also, it's made in Canada, so that's nice. Communications Canada, some sort of seal of approval. Go figure, eh? What I'm actually hoping I can do is instead of doing the normal thing of like removing this jack and splicing the wires at this point, I'm kind of hoping I can use this base as like a <laughs> telephone handset mic receiver and eventually get it to a point where I both have the microphone microphone wired up and also the speaker, which can be a microphone, you know, speakers, microphones. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping this can be a, a good tester of them. I'm going to crack this thing open, roll some time lapse on it, I suppose. Hope you like the chill hop. Maybe I can use the switch. There's also a little uh, volume rocker here. So I don't know. Let me uh, grab my Phillips and uh, see what this looks like. Let's get the, uh, I think that's all the screws, unless there's some sneaky ones. Ooh, okay, all right. Nice numpad here, a speaker. Oh, that would, for ring, 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 of course. You know, you know phones, ring, ring, ring. Look at these hefty metal boys, holy moly. This, <laughs> that is just like a chunk of lead in there. <laughs> I don't know if that actually does anything. Ooh, a nice dead spider. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean that up here. But anyways, uh, I'll, I'll report back with more later. All right, so got the spiders out of there. You can see this numpad is uh, hooked up here. There's a speaker here. This would be the ringer, right? And, you know, bring, bring, you got a phone call. Bring, bring, you got a phone call. Sure. The, uh, this guy, interesting switch. Uh, when the phone's weight is on it, it disconnects the circuit here. You lift it up, the, the tab here is able to, to reconnect. So that's kind of, it's kind of neat. Not sure what tapping into that would look like. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to keep looking around at this. Oh, this is your volume toggle. So this, this piece would, uh, this piece would kind of hold on to this toggle and move it around. Oh boy, what do I want to do with this? I gotta look up, I gotta look up how to wire this. Uh, the jack on the end of the cord from the handset uh, is called an RJ9 jack. I was able to find this diagram on Wikipedia showing the pinouts from the jack. Further searching though revealed that there isn't really a standard for this kind of handset cable. So in the meantime, I soldered leads off each of the pins from the jack on the circuit board so that I could test it out for myself. Okay, so I gotta figure out which of the leads actually connects. I'm hooked up to my amp. So, one, two, three, four. Hello, hello. Hello? Mm, no dice. Hello? 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 Oh! Oh! It works! It works! Thank you! Oh. Yeah, so here's the finished product. Um, 
jack ended up going on the front. I tried to put it out through this hole here, but it ended up when it closed up, there was no room to put the cable in. I don't know how to measure this stuff beforehand, really. So if anyone has any advice, that would be that would be great. Um, a bit of guesswork as to how the pinouts on this cable work. Uh, turns out there's not really any. I don't think there's any standard for this like four pin connector, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I'll pick it up. It's plugged into the guitar amp right now. And it sounds like this. Pretty cool. Pretty. Watch those plosives. You kind of, you got to hold it. You got to hold, you got to hold it close. It's, uh, you got to get pretty close to the speaker here. But it's cool. It kind of sounds like that, uh, old intercom vibe, which is, uh, what you're going for with, uh, one of these. Cool old school. Um, a cool thing I was able to do though was the uh, the old hangout switch works. So that's pretty. That's pretty all right. watching this great video from R. David R. about making telephone microphones and using them to record drums. And I saw something familiar. How about that? Well, this, yeah, this, this one's gonna just sound fucking great. I guarantee you that. Um, now, do we got this set onto auto level? Yeah, it seems to be the best. I'm having some trouble recording. So... Uh, fans of the channel might recognize this as the uh, tape player guitar amp hacked. But right now, it's amplifying. It's amplifying. Why is there more feedback? What? This is crazy. How sensitive is this thing? Reverb, reverb. Yeah. 